Two identical battery have EMF6 internal resistance. Ah, battery is connected. Okay, so you have two batteries. Be careful when there's two batteries. Current is given. What is the internal resistance of each battery? We gotta, we gotta, we, what equation do we use? If you don't know how to start, a good place to start is just to pick um, Kirchhoff's law, where you do loops. So I can draw a loop like this. And I say, oh, sum of EMF in that loop equals to all the total potential drop added together. And this potential drop is V equals to IR. La. You can find that. So if I draw this blue loop, there is only one battery. So that is going to be my six volts. Then potential drop. There's going to be a first drop down here. So that will be the current 0 0.5 times the resistance 11. Is there any other potential drop? Yes, there is one more. Wait, this one. You also lose energy here. So there will be a potential drop or what we call as lost volts. We lose already, ma, no more energy. But you have to be very careful what current we use here. The current flowing through this part is actually only 0 0.25. A lot of people, uh, we missed out on that spot and that spot. Because of, we think about this. If here the current is 0 0.5, then you have two points where the, where the current will flow out like this. So here's 0 0.25, here's 0 0.25. Oh. Then when you come to the other side, 0 0.25 come in. This, this battery got 0 0.25 come out. Join together, becomes 0 0.5. So this one is a spot where a lot of us forgot. Oh yes, current will split. Oh. Same battery voltage are more there. Okay, so this one plus the current of 0 0.25, which will flow through the loss vote R. Yes, so that's Kirchhoff. Kirchhoff, Kirchhoff's first law that we need to remember. From here, then we'll get R equals to 2 ohm. So I'm going to highlight the point where we missed out this, this. Current at junctions, what happens? Be careful. Okay, so 2 ohms is how we can find this question. 2, B is the best choice.